Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Sensionics Holdings. The report was first published on our website February 11, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Sensionics Holdings for the upcoming trading day on Monday 14th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Sensionics Holdings performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Sensionics Holdings stock currently holds a minus 6.079 score, and our system has ranked Sensionics Holdings sell candidate since January 31, 2022. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 9.70%. This is an average return of minus 0.97% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Sensionics Holdings our last headline reads, Volatile Ride for Sensionics Holdings Inc. Stock Price on Friday moving between $2.41 and $3.27. The Sensionics Holdings Inc. Stock Price fell by minus 33.70% on the last day, Friday, February 11, 2022, from $3.65 to $2.42. And has now fallen three days in a row. During the day the stock fluctuated 35.68% from a day low at $2.41 to a day high of $3.27. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 1.26% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 91 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 105 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $255.03 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $5.56, and the lowest price was $1.62. Right now the price is 56.47%, or $3.14, below 52-week high at $5.56, which also is all-time high for the stock. The Sensionics Holdings Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible minus 11.51% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 16.82% and 76.42%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 6.65% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 25.61% and 131.25%. This equals a price between $3.04 and $5.60 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From Analyst Sensionics Holding Stock received a general neutral rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong sell and price to book a strong sell rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Sensionics holding stock and buy rating. In this section, we will give you some information about signals found for Sensionics holdings. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence, divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Sensionics Holdings Inc. stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $3.36 and $2.80. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, February 9, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 34.77%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. 
volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence, divergence, holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 3 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 13 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 7 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 52 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Sensionics Holdings Sensionix Holdings Inc. finds support from accumulated volume at $2.39 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.86 cents between high and low, or 35.68%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 14.92%. The stock has a beta of 2.31. This tells us that Sensionix Holdings is 1.31 times more volatile than the market. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2021 is expected to be released March 02, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are negative $0.0300. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Sensionix Holdings meets first resistance at $2.67. If you do not hold Sensionix Holdings shares, you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock, this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn, Sensionix Holdings finds first level of support at $2.39, and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are buy at $2.37, $2.17, sell at $3.03. $3.23, $3.56. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources or Sensionix Holdings is neutral. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On January 3, 2022, Prince Douglas S. made an inside buy of 3,409 of common stock. On January 3, 2022 DeFalco Stephen P. made an inside buy of 9,090 of common stock. On January 3, 2022 Stephen Edelman made an inside buy of 3,511 of common stock. On January 3, 2022 Fiorentino Edward made an inside buy of 5,136 of common stock. On December 8, 2021 Larkin Sharon made an inside buy of 72,115 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 49.638. In total, the insiders bought 4,196,952 and sold 13,832,241 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Sensionix holding stock a buy? Sensionix Holdings Inc. holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture, we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. 
For the trading on Monday, 14th we expect Sensionics Holdings to open up $0.28 cents and start trading at $2.70. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.